I had moved into a new home and I needed new furniture. I got an email from a friend saying they have friends that make furniture out of their garage and they send me pictures. I contacted them to make furniture for my home. I really liked what they made for me. I found it to be of very high quality and I also found it affordable for the quality and the product that I was receiving. The aha moment came in when I thought that I could partner with my furniture suppliers who are now my partners and create Setas Contemporary Furniture, which would be um, retail stores across the country. So we started off with a Facebook page which aided us a lot because I had a, a full-time job at the time. What that enabled me to do was not to have huge capital commitments and also to just start small, you know, and be able to work on a side business that doesn't have too much pressure. My name is Ofense Munyela. I am the founding member and managing director of Setas Contemporary Furniture. We specialize in tailor-made contemporary furniture as well as interior deco. What Setas does is that as a client walks in and they don't know what to do or how to fill their home, they come to us, we consult, we go on, on site to speak to the client and the users of the space, the family. We interview them according to who they are, what they like and what they like doing. We then come back and come up with a concept for their home and present it to them. We have a full value chain from the service that we offer to manufacturing. So once the service is done, we then go and start manufacturing the furniture and we supply them with accessories as well. And then we go and install the furniture in their homes. My background plays a huge role in what we are doing. Uh, firstly, because I come from a commercial background. I'm an ex-investment banker, so I've seen a lot of businesses as I used to fund businesses. And the commercial acumen that has come from that has assisted me and the business into growing the business into what it is today. We're not just selling something that we do not understand. It is um, a product that we would buy ourselves, you know, as South African middle class. One of our key traits is that we are big dreamers as setters and we continue to dream big. Uh, we see setters possibly listing in about 10 years time on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange.